All right, let's get this sign in with Google button working. All right, uh, so I'm gonna be taking all, uh, a lot of information from the, the documents right here and the quick starts. All right, so you can you can go for, for more information if you need it. All right, uh, so the first thing is is that Google is is using um, is using OAuth, right? So uh, a standard for doing authentication. Uh, so let's kind of walk through the, the workflow here. So we're gonna have some setup to do, right? And then sort of step one is going to be to to sign into Google, right? Uh, and you've you've probably done this before. Sometimes you know you click on a button and it brings up a little screen and asks you to to sign in if you're not already signed in. If you're already signed in, then Google will just verify that that you are, and it's going to send back a token, right, back to your app. Uh, we're going to take that token and we're going to send it off to Firebase, right? Uh, and Firebase is actually going to verify that token with with Google, right? Um, and it's you know it's 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 secured way to do that, and then it's going to come back and say yes you are now authenticated right so kind of a couple a couple different steps going on here, um, so and not that you really need to understand all, all the details of this for for being a simple user of this uh, but you might be interested in, in digging in more uh, if you need to to do custom authentication and certainly I think this this will help you understand some of the different steps when we need to write it in our code right? um, so some good news and bad news. Bad news. Uh, so the good news first. Um, so once you get the token, uh, actually doing the sign in to the Google Plus account is super super similar to, to what we did with email password. Okay, so so um, almost identical. The bad news, of course, is that we do have to do these other steps here. So we got to set up, and then we have to do a sign in, and we're going to use an intent to do that, and and all sorts of fun stuff. Um, so. On the next couple slides, there are essentially, you know, solutions uh, for what's going on here. Basically, the the, the quick and dirty. Um, and I'm going to ask you uh, to to sort of type it in um, as we go, or at least see where it came from once, right? And once you can do that, then feel free to copy and paste for for future apps here um, that that you make. Um, what I'm going to do is actually going to go directly to the Firebase um, docs and and kind of take it from there. And kind of tell you how I how I massaged it into the to the form that we get in our app, right? Um, so um, basically, if you follow that link, it's going to bring you into the Firebase Docs um, under Authentication, Android, and then Google Sign In, right? And we'll kind of walk through these things a little little bit at a time. So um, adding Firebase to the project, got it. <clears throat> Add dependencies. So we already added Firebase off. We do need to um, go ahead and get uh, so play services off. So go ahead and add that to your build.gradle. Um, we can close this Gradle tab up here so it doesn't get in the way. Um, and paste that guy in. Um, you want to use the same version. Uh, the current one is the time that it was actually 9.2.1. Um, but again, I'm using a little bit older one here uh, just because my emulator. So, and I get that building in the background. All right, uh, let's see. So connected to, let's see, yes, we've done that. So we connect our app to the Firebase project. Um, Google sign in from the Firebase. So this was the, the four steps that we did just a couple minutes ago, along with the SHA-1. So skip, 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 skip. OK, now they're going to give us some, some instructions that are going to take us to another page. And I'm going to open up that tab. We'll go there in a second. Uh, and it's telling us here that with our Google sign in objects, we need this request ID token. Uh, so, uh, and they give us this thing right here. So I'm going to copy this chunk and go back into my app. And now in main activity, uh, underneath initialize listeners, I'm going to have initialize Google. I called it something similar in the slide, probably not exactly the same thing. Um, and then I'm going to scroll down here underneath this guy and stub in the method, initialize Google. And the first thing I'm going to do is is paste in uh, what what we had what we had on my clipboard there. Okay, um, so let's see what we got here. So we got a Google sign in op, sign in options object um, that follows a builder format, kind of like alert dialogues and everything. Uh, and we have some defaults, and we see that that it's it's going to be requesting an ID token uh, email, and then it's 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 going to build it. Okay, um, good. So what are we gonna do with that? So here we're gonna we're gonna go over to the other tab, and you'll see that they had you do the same thing. Only they they just requested the email, not the ID token. So that's why we needed the, that thing. It was a little bit Firebase specific. Okay. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and 
um, you'll notice here that we're going to build um, a Google API client um, who has access to, to do the sign in, right? Um, and this guy, I will grab and go back to my code and inside here, dump this guy in. All right, so this is a variable that I'm going to refer to later. So I'm going to go back to the top here and Google, oops, uh, API client, my Google API client, like so. And then back down here. And you'll see that um, it's doing, it's auto managing some stuff for us um, as far as like, you know, popping up windows and all that stuff. So um, the one thing that we need to specify is, is if the connection fails, who's listening, right? That could be an inner class. Um, it could be, it could be this, the, you know, the, my, my current class, my activity, and that's what I'm going to choose to do. Um, so this says I can make main activity implement the on connection failed listener, right? And if I do that, it's going to stub in down at the bottom of the file on connection fail. And you can use a log message or you could actually even, um, show login error. Um, we'll say something like Google connection, uh, failed, All right? like so. All right, and then I'm going back up to where I left off here um, with my API client and that I believe is it for the setup. Okay, um, let's let's go down here. So this is the sign in button. Uh, we actually did that for you. Um, and then so on. So a sign in flow and then it's going to be talking about some stuff here as far as on activity result um, kicking off um, uh, basically uh, kicking off the the intent and everything um, and I think that documentation is the same thing yeah pretty much the same thing that's here back in the Firebase site all right so we did um, we did the stuff that, that we had to do okay um, so for what it's worth what, what we skipped here so pass your servers client ID to the request um, ID token um, and uh, so we did this right so this is um, well so sorry uh, Let's see. Yeah, I think that would that was that was done there. Okay. Uh, so we're going now. Um, so the sign in method right here. Uh, let's let's copy and paste this in and see where we're going. Okay. So this is down to my on Google login, which again, optimistically, I'm going to say I'm done. Uh, so we see that we're going to make an intent to actually do the sign in. Uh, this is going to get an intent uh, from this. You remember, we, we copied in the Play Services library, so we have access to this here. And we're going to start an activity for result. So no surprises there. We've done things like this before. And we're going to need to create a request code. So let's do that. Uh, so create a constant field up at the top. Well, that's kind of weird that, that, it, that it put that there. Um, int. And you can give it a value that's non-zero. Okay, so so I'm just using a um, a value of of one. Okay, uh, good. And let's see. Then we're gonna need on activity result. So you can grab the whole thing. And honestly, this seems like what what people do often is just go ahead and and use stuff as is. Uh, so let's see what we got here. Okay, uh, so. Um, we've we've asked Google for for something. Maybe we had to type in our, our, our Google password. Maybe it was already logged somewhere. Um, and then we, we come back from this and uh, returning from the intent. Um, if we, we came back from from um, from that particular request, all right. Then what we're going to do is is grab a result from the intent. Okay, so get the sign in result from the data. And then it's going to let us know whether it was successful or not, right? So if it's if it is successful, um, then we can um, that we can authenticate. We can go onto Firebase, right? So we have you know we have our token. Um, otherwise, it failed. Oh, if it failed, we should show our login error, and we can say here Google sign in failed. Okay, um, that's a good place to do that, right? Uh, then we've got a helper to write here, right? So this, this um, we're gonna have a few more lines of code. So let's let's go back in here, and you'll notice some of the things we already did anyway from email password. So we already have an instance of, of our of our auth variable um, and our listener, 
and we already made our, our auth state listener, so I'm just skipping past all this stuff. Hey, that looks familiar. This is all the stuff we did before. No surprise. And then there's a method here. This is the one that, that we just uh, we just called uh, Firebase off with Google. Um, we're gonna copy this in, but we're gonna simplify it quite a bit, actually. So just underneath here. Um, first thing is, is that uh, my tag structure is a little bit different, so I have it in a constants class. Um, and if we wanna if we wanna use that, we 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 can. I mean, there's just a log message. Uh, so we have our Google account, so now we can get the credential. All right, so we're basically getting this token that we need to send off to Firebase. Remember that 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 step there. Uh, so we've essentially um, our intent and returning from the intent gave us the token. So now it's time for us to do what we did with email password, which is go ahead and fire off the token and then it, and they come back. All right. um, so, um, so my off, I'm gonna sign in with credential and I pass in a credential. And this should look really familiar because that's what we did with um, before. We did mauth.sign in with email password. We passed in those things. Uh, and then we added in on complete listener. Now, interestingly, um, this on, on complete listener here is not that exciting, right? I mean, it basically, if it completes and it wasn't successful, um, they throw up a toast, we, th we showed a login error message, but we've already done this, right? So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and delete all of that and use our own on complete listener. Um, and let's see if I can get the, uh, sort of the everything the parenthesized here sort of sort of correctly um, we should be good to go let's see I think let's try format that I think like that right so so very very simple okay um, for that last step All right when you when you go to run it um, if you hit the the green arrow to run it um, it's going to rerun your signing report so um, you might have to um, go back up to the run and then go back to running uh, main activity. All right, uh, that'll work a little bit better for you. Okay, here we are back in the app. So it's running, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and press the sign in with Google, and I am already signed in. I actually have um, two different accounts on this phone. So you see, this is, what's, this is why we need an intent to do this, um, because we might have to interact with the user in some way, okay? Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and, and click that first one and come in. And I've already made some of these as I demoed in the in the beginning, uh, but you can go ahead and and you know uh, create some uh, yourself, right? Now what I am going to do is go back into um, oops, so I was going back into Firebase console, but I was still here, so I'm just going to go ahead and click the back button to go back to the console itself, uh, and I can see a couple things. So one is if I go to to off. I should have a user now, all right? So success, this is a good thing. Uh, and if I go to my database, now I can start to make sense out of this, right? So that the a at b.com has a user ID of 70 blah, 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 and my Google one is HYB blah, blah, blah. All right, so let's go in here and we can see that this is my Google, um, my Google user. I'm actually kind of surprised it set it up like this. Um, I've seen often in the past that, that it will it'll append um, the word Google onto the front of it, um, but it looks like they're not doing that now, uh, at least for Google ones. All right, uh, so let's get the slides cut up, but we're pretty much done with, with this lesson. Uh, so there was our setup, stage zero, and then we fired off our, our intent um, to, to go ahead and, and interact with the user. When it came back, it came back with a result, right? And then this result, um, uh, we, we went ahead and so we, we got the sign in account from it. And then we called another helper method here with that account. And um, the account uh, had a credential in it. All right, so we called this get ID token that gave us a credential. And then we signed in with credential, very similar to how we had signed in with email password and we had the same listener when we were done, okay? Uh, that is it, right, for, um, for Google sign-in, right? So we will see you next time.